Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with one more video, and today we'll be looking into a Mercedes-Benz company. And uh, today we have one of my senior, Deepak. He'll be giving complete insight about the Mercedes-Benz company. And uh, coming to the point, like uh, he will, today he'll be giving a complete insight about uh, regarding the Mercedes-Benz company, and he'll be giving an insight about its hiring procedure, and also the role and responsibility, its package, as well as uh, the bond. And at last, he'll be giving some suggestions to you so that you can implement in your preparation and see a positive impact. And before that, guys, uh, we also have our Telegram community group. If you're not yet joined our Telegram community group, uh, link is provided in description. You can go through that and have a look into that. And the main benefit of uh, uh, being in our group is you can ask any kind of questions with respect to any company. Uh, people in the community will surely help you, and uh, we'll see there. Okay. And without wasting much time, we'll jump to the talk. Uh, hi, Deepak. How are you? Hi, Akshay. I'm good. How are you? Uh, we are doing great, uh, Deepak. So, Deepak, without wasting much time, we'll jump to the talk. Uh, sure. Just give us point instead about what is Mercedes Benz is all about. Over to you. Okay. Uh, basically, Mercedes Benz, like most of us know, it's an automobile company, mm-hmm. and uh, the branch that we have in India, which is actually a research and development branch. Okay. And in this wing of Mercedes Benz, we'll mostly focus on the IT sector. Mm-hmm. So okay. I'm working as a GET, which is called graduate engineer trainee, mm-hmm. in the Mercedes Benz okay. in Bangalore. Mm-hmm. A great uh, department. So they are coming to its hiring procedure. Like, uh, just give us more insight regarding like uh, how many rounds a candidate should undergo in order to get selected. Okay. Sure, actually, huh? Uh, basically, the the hiring process is not much different from the other companies. Okay. Uh, there was actually a aptitude round. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the aptitude round, you know, the questions were of uh, you know, it's it's all from all the levels. Like, you have a uh, easy questions, moderate, and then okay. the difficult questions. Mm-hmm. And then the timing was actually important because there was a little bit tight, uh, you know, timing for the whole exam. Okay. And okay. that was the first round, mm-hmm. and the second round was a technical round. Okay. So in the technical round, uh, since I was having, I was actually attending for the Python developer role. Mm-hmm. Most of the questions were uh, on the Python language mm-hmm. and also on the OOPS concept. So mm-hmm. all the questions were MCQs. I did not have any coding stuff and all. Mm-hmm. So that was the second round, okay. and uh, those who clear both the rounds will be then uh, taken to the TR and then to the HR. Okay, got it. Got it. So deeper coming to the assessment part. So yeah. in assessment part, uh, particularly to the coding section, uh, like uh, how are the coding basically? Were they different or uh, like difficulty level? Were they easy or okay, okay or difficult level? Any other talk on that? Yeah, uh, like I said, actually there was no coding question here, okay. but then uh, we were actually given some snippet of codes and then were yeah. asked to give the outputs. Yeah. Like I said, uh, I was uh, giving a try for the Python developer, so most of the questions were on the Python. Okay. So basically, uh, you'll have to focus more on the syntax and then on the oop, oops concepts as well. Okay. So yeah. either they'll ask you to find the error in the snippet of code given, or uh, like in the usual cases, they'll ask you to find the output of the given snippet of the code. So that was pretty much it. noted uh, the pack noted uh, so coming to the uh, tr so uh, before jumping to the tr like what was the time taken to get uh, the assessment result uh basically it won't take a long maybe uh, in the worst i mean we got the result in the one week, one week you know one week okay. both the assessments will happen in the same day Achha, and then in a week you'll get the results of it got it uh, so coming to tr how was it uh tr round was a bit tricky akshay uh because basically they'll focus on two things one is your python uh, ability or uh, for whatever role that you are being hired into okay. they'll uh, t- talk about uh, they'll uh, test your domain knowledge mm-hmm. and uh, most importantly a project that you have done in the fourth year okay. so i was questioned on the python language okay. so i was able to you know uh, answer most of them i i can't say all of them most okay. of them i was able mm-hmm. to answer mm-hmm. and then uh, there was also questions on the project part so the project part is actually critical mm-hmm. so if you'll be able to convince them on the project that you are doing and then if you can relate the project with the work that you are going to do in the company mm-hmm. i think uh, there you can actually score the brownie point so okay i think yeah focus more on the project i would say and then obviously you would anyways have the knowledge on the domain so both the things would do the job okay all right uh, deepak all right uh, so sorry to bother you like uh, if you could uh, mention the questions so which you, which you got from the panelist uh, you uh, can mention them Who yeah sure uh, project question it's it's a specific to your project but okay. talking about the python domain questions okay. uh, mostly i got the questions on the oops concepts concept. you know uh, they'll ask you a certain concept and then they'll ask you like how do you implement it in the python mm-hmm. like uh, supposingly if i take abstraction they'll ask you like how do you implement the abstraction how do you create the object okay. what is necessary for a class how mm-hmm. do you declare a constructor mm-hmm. so basically it's a mix of both syntaxes and then the concepts as well so you should be thorough with both of them 
got it uh, deepak got it uh, so deepak uh, like were there any kind of questions related to like situation based questions like they will be giving a situation and uh, they will be checking how you going to react to that uh, situation in such kind of uh, response you got from the panel uh no akshay uh, mostly the interview was focused on the technical got stuff it. so yeah. there were no such questions correct mm. uh, so what was the time taken to get uh, the tr result uh tr result took a little long like uh i just got the result in 15 days i guess so in, the, in 15 days i got it yeah okay then how was uh, the last one hr yeah hr round was uh, you know pretty much easy because by the time you complete the tr round you get a sort of satisfaction and then you know hr rounds you know they're not as tricky as the tr rounds uh-huh. in the hr round you know basically they'll ask you all the stuff like what are your strengths what are your weaknesses talk about yourself all that stuff mm-hmm. and uh, yeah it was not for so long it was for 10 15 minutes and then yeah but then it took me for a, a month of time to get the results after the hr round so okay. i had to wait for a you know one month of time Okay, got it. Uh, Deepak, got it. So coming to the mode of communication uh, from the company side, like uh, the communication will be happening through email, or you will be getting a telephonic call for the further update. How was it? No, uh, the basic communications happens through an email. Okay. But after the HR thing, you'll get a call telling like asking for you know for your details and all. Yeah. So basically, the communication will all be through email. Got it. And adi- in addition to that, if required, they'll also call you. Understood, Dadi. Pak understood. Uh, so coming to its uh, role and responsibility, uh, just give us more insight regarding your role package and uh, uh, the bond. Yeah, actually, uh, basically in the Mercedes Benz, uh, for the freshers there are two types of role. One is called GET role. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you are a graduate of BTEC, you will be getting into a graduate engineer trainee role. Mm-hmm. And then if you have completed MTEC, you will be getting into a PGET role, which is called postgraduate engineer trainee. Okay. So graduate engineer trainee, postgraduate engineer trainee. Okay. So uh, since I'm a BTEC graduate, I've got into a GET role. Okay. And then talking about my profile, uh, I've ac- I've actually got selected for the Python developer profile. Python. Okay. So mm-hmm. yeah, and then the package it's a 10 LPA package. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And uh, what else? Uh, to the bond. Ah, uh, there's no bond actually. There's no, no bond. Got it. Uh, okay, Nia. Yeah. Uh, Deepak got it. So Deepak, mm-hmm. coming to uh, the last uh, moment of our interview, uh, any suggestions to audience, uh, Deepak? uh my suggestions would be this actually like uh, you know uh especially uh, since the pandemic has happened i think there's no dearth of opportunity there are a lot and lot of opportunities okay. especially in it okay. so i want you guys to keep applying for all the companies and uh, you know preparation and all i think anyways people will be doing so just have confidence in yourself keep applying for the company and i'm sure you guys will ace it we completely agree with you deepak yeah So yeah. Deepak we are done with our talk uh, and yeah guys this is all about today's interview experience and uh, if you not yet uh, seen our previous video uh, just click on our link and uh, uh, Deepak have already given uh, have already shared his interview experience regarding the Infosys company and if you not yet seen that video just click on our link and just go and have a look into that and if you want to contact me and you can contact me through uh, YouTube comment section or else you can contact direct to my Instagram ID uh, everything will be provided in the description and uh, Yeah, guys. As I mentioned earlier, you can uh, be part of our Telegram community group, and uh, just make use of the community, guys. And uh, Deepak, once again, thank you, man, for joining us today. Yeah, thank you, Akshay. And uh, yeah, guys, this is all about today's talk. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.